Welcome back to 23 Degrees Sideways. I'd like to talk a little bit about a libertarian fallacy. Um, it's not a fallacy that all libertarians have, absolutely not, but it is fairly common. It's a fallacy of economics. Economics is a foundation for morality, or economics is an expression of morality. Um, and again, understand that I am I am I'm not the court jester of the libertarians, okay? I am not I don't gonna put myself be as being that important, but I am I'm that guy in the room who's gonna whisper, you know, be careful that you don't believe yourself too much because hubris is a bad thing. I, I tend to get along with libertarians up to a point. I tend to like libertarians for the most part. Like, paleo-libertarians especially, okay? When you get back to libertarianism of the Jeffersonian, the epic type, the, um, the 1960s, the Back to the Land movement, there's, there, there are libertarians out there who I can get along with very, very well. Remember that libertarianism right now is predominantly being forced into extremism by anarchists, okay? And that's not necessarily a defining point of libertarian. Anarchy is not libertarianism, and libertarianism is, should not be defined by the anarchists. <sighs> so, um, you know, this, this guy here, we were talking about the abortion debate in a previous video, and he, uh, he talked about this idea that a conscious, a, a set of actions with intent. I'm not sure how he actually gets there. Like, I'm not sure how he, how he got there. Um, but a set of actions with intent is his his definition of self-ownership, the capability of self-ownership. And self-ownership is where he's, he's at with um, a definition of humanity. Self-ownership self is the defining factor of humanity, and that's... That's a little weird, okay? That's a little... Self-ownership implies, requires... Ownership requires the ability to transfer. Um, so you can sell yourself into slavery, and it's perfectly fine with someone like this, but... I don't really... See, that doesn't seem to me like a fundamental of liberty. Certainly it's not a natural basis of liberty. You know, for people who talk about nature as the basis of liber liberty, natural law... There's, there's a movement trying to educate police officers on natural law, and I'm like, they don't have, they don't have any philosophical, like, there's nothing on their website that, that talks about how they got to this idea of natural law. Um, natural law is all people are free from violent attacks, and I'm like, nah, you don't. You really need to get out in nature a little bit, boy, because that's not quite how it works. <laughs> um, so there's this idea of economic, the basis of morality. So for this guy, the basis of humanity, and there are lots of libertarians who believe this, the basis of humanity is the ability to have self-ownership. The that, that consciousness is based on self ownership as a concept like the the action with intent is self ownership and that of course you can sell yourself or whatever but it's economic there's lots of economic um, libertarians really like courts they really like legalistic arguments they really like legalism they really like the idea of lawsuits as morality so you have these these lawsuits um, and they do, you know, you know I, I don't know how this works with the modern anarchist set. You know, there's the judges are supposed to just magically appear, the enforcement magically appears, and the enforcement is, is society. 
the mob comes together and enforces whatever the decision the, the mob's leader for the moment made because that's the judge is the mob's leader. I just really don't like this system. It's really bizarre, but the economic basis of justice is that everything has a price. So murder has a price, okay? There's like, a, there's a value on a human life and if you murder someone, there's this level of fines, okay? You have to do what the person would have done, their work for life, or this amount of money, or it's an economic basis of morality. And I don't really think that humans, the value of a human being is primarily an economic discussion or an economic unit, okay? They're really, really bizarre Quakers. So one of the things to think about here is that this whole idea of money, 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 everything being a, a measured materially comes out of uh, the Calvinist Christian cults that came to America. And that is particularly amusing to me when it comes to libertarians who think that everything is about an economic value. It's a very, it's a very particularly odd Christian uh, motif, mythology, um, culture, and I just, I think that's hilarious. So this guy, the, the self-ownership, do not think that liberty is best defined as self-ownership. I think that it is best defined as self-determination, if you're going to, if you really need to use these terms, okay? I don't think self-determination is anywhere near complete, but it makes a lot more sense when you start breaking it down than the idea of self-ownership. You're not a, you are not an economic machine. Economics is a game that we play, but you're not an economic machine. That is not the value of human life. And I think that in a very broad sense, the libertarian movement loses a lot of people because of that fundamental non-humanity. Now, I don't, I'm not gonna, I don't, I don't put them in the, in the same category as many progressives, where it's an inhumanity, okay, and, and the basis of this is my, my contention that we have, there are fundamentally two sides in the game of life, pro-humanity and in, or anti-humanity, and humane, the humane side, the side that's about humans is about that self-determination, individual liberty, human beings as conscious spiritual creatures, whether or not you believe in the spiritual part is whatever you can say is conscious psychological creatures. And then the inhumane is, is the people who want to restrict the personal liberty or the human nature itself and legislate it or control it or otherwise authoritarianly re-educate it into the proper mold. They want, they literally want to legislate human nature. And I find that to be inhumane, inhuman. It's the, it's a fundamental basis of progressivism all the way back to the carpetbaggers and the uplift movement in the late 19th century. You, I can trace it for you like line by line by line. The, it's basic. It's there. I'm sorry if you consider yourself a progressive. You really need to think about where you're going with that, okay? Um, libertarians, there, there's a libertarian thing here where I think it's non-humane. It's not inhumanity, it's just non-humanity. It's a non-human definition of humanity. And I, I think that that really blows it away for a lot of people who would otherwise be attracted to the libertarian movement. There are a lot of conservatives, um, Republicans, paleoconservatives, paleoliberals. Um, there's, there's a lot of people, you can define them all sorts of ways, Jeffersonians, Jeffersonian Federalists. Um, there's a um, diggers, not diggers. Uh, where are the other ones? Starts with a D. There, there, there's a British movement about uh, back to the land. It starts with a D. It's not diggers. I can't remember what it is. But there's a lot of 
of people who would be bundled up in the libertarian movement or cause the br broader libertarian, classical libertarian, whatever, the non-anarchist libertarian side, if libertarians were more humane and um, instead of non-humane. I don't mean in inhuman, I just mean non. You know, this, this idea of this me mechanical Turk robot definition of humanity based on economics and actions really misses the idea that self-determination is the key. And if you can get into that, even if you have to say, look, it's just psychology and consciousness and we don't know what it is yet. We know, we're studying it scientifically. We, we, know, we know that there's something there, but we don't know what it is. Fine. If that's where you're at, more power to you. Okay, a lot of people can't handle the word spiritual without like literally having like emotional effects because they've been trained. There's brainwashing there, you know? But you have, you have to get into that spiritual psychological consciousness realm, self-determination, um, you know, pursuit of happiness. It wasn't supposed to be life, li liberty, and property. It really was supposed to be life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. That really is what, what, what was written down on purpose. You need, you need this part, this humane aspect, and you would easily, order of magnitude, um, increase the libertarian pull, the, the, the idea of libertarianism as a political force, if you were just humane, humanocentric, um, in a psychological or spiritual sense, okay? And that's, that's, it, it, it bugs me because it's one of the things that I have had the most arguments with when I get into a coffee shop and I'm sitting down with libertarians and, we're, and the, the liberta there's a libertarian candidate doing party stuff, whatever. It's that economic basis of morality and this idea that the human is just becomes a mechanical economic animal and that that's how rights and identity and value operate, okay? Every man and woman is a star. That's all I got for you. Try it out. Give it a couple years. And see if it changes things for the party. Stay sideways.